Hey guys, so have you heard of these new things called YouTube Shorts? Well, they're basically TikTok videos on YouTube. YouTube just rolled out this new feature where they're allowing you to post videos that are less than 60 seconds in a vertical orientation. It's gonna be kind of awkward for a regular user who is watching their YouTube videos on either a laptop or a TV because the video will be vertical and the background of it will pretty much be a bigger version of the video. But the great thing about these YouTube Shorts is that it does not matter if you have zero subscribers or 1 million subscribers, anybody can post a YouTube short. They're short and sweet. Just like TikToks, people can go viral. So I'm going to show you guys how you can use your old footage to recreate it into a YouTube short. I'm going to show you guys the settings that you're going to use on your editing programs in order to qualify your video as a YouTube short and also the little keywords that you need to post in your video in order for YouTube to put your video on the YouTube short section. So stay tuned if you want to see that. Okay, so we're gonna start up by first opening up whatever editing program you use. No matter what editing program you use, you're gonna want to change the settings. So I'm currently using Premiere Pro and that's what I'm gonna show you guys, the settings that you need to change in order to qualify your video as a YouTube short. Okay, so to start out, you're gonna wanna open up your editing program and like I stated, I am using Premiere Pro to edit my YouTube short. Okay, so I'm just gonna open up my previous project, but you can open up a new project. So for step one, what you're gonna wanna do is go to your file, new, and then you're gonna wanna create a new sequence. Okay, so right here, they're just showing you the standard video settings, but we're gonna be creating our own custom settings because we need it to be in vertical format now, no longer the horizontal orientation that we're used to with our regular YouTube videos. So in your editing mode, I'm going to go to custom and then I'm going to change the frame size because now we need to make it, like I said, into a vertical format. So it's going to be 1080 for your horizontal and 1920 for your vertical. Okay, and as you can see right here, now that the sequence is now in a different layout than we are used to, it is now in a vertical layout. So go ahead and add your files. Okay, so this is just footage of my dog during the summer, how him climbing the ladder, and that's just something I kind of wanted to show everybody on the internet, but I never found a good spot to put this short video into besides a vlog, but I really wanted to highlight this because I thought it was one of the coolest things ever that he was able to actually climb a ladder. So as you can see right here, there is like a little black box. So you're gonna have to edit the frame size. Okay, so I'm gonna change the frame size to a 176 or 177. So now you can see that the video is now in a vertical format instead of a horizontal format. Now would qualify your video as a YouTube short because it is now in the vertical format. Even if you were to put the little titles that you need to or put it under less than 60 seconds, YouTube wouldn't qualify it as a YouTube short because it needs to be in this vertical format. That's why it's important for you to change your settings in your editing program. Now, if you were using your phone to record videos, you wouldn't have to worry about this. You could also just change your DSLR vertically also and then you can have vertical footage but yeah so I'm gonna go along and edit this video for a little bit and I'll come back to you guys once um, I'm gonna be exporting the video okay so my whole video is done now and so it's time to export the video so I just have the completed file right here and it's a total of 48 seconds so it is well below the 60 seconds that it needs to be okay so you're gonna go to your settings whatever editing program you're using so you're gonna export it. Okay, and then you're gonna change the format to the H.64. Then you're gonna move this to the YouTube 1080 Full HD like you normally do. As you can see right here, there's still those little black boxes at the side. So what you're gonna do is match source. And now it is perfectly vertical. So I'm just gonna rename this real quick. Okay, so I got my format H.264, I got my custom preset, and then make sure you match the source so that you don't have the black boxes on the side. 
I usually change my bit rate to at least 20 and especially since I'm having my dog jump in and out of the pool a lot there's a lot of movement I want to make sure my bit rate is high and use maximum render quality I don't mind waiting the extra time to ensure that the video quality output is better so it takes a little bit longer but at least it'll be better quality for you guys so yeah here's my whole video perfect 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 and now you just export like normal okay so this is gonna take a while and once it this is done then i'll come back to you guys once again and show you guys how to upload it onto youtube so that youtube recognizes it as a youtube short okay so now that it's finally finished exporting you're gonna go to your youtube as you would and you're gonna go on to upload video like you normally do so let me select my file everything else is like normal you're gonna add a title add a description thumbnail everything playlist is the same the only difference to ensure that youtube is recognizing that this video is a youtube shorts is you're gonna put hashtag Hashtag shorts okay so you're gonna put hashtag shorts and you're gonna include your description your title thumbnail everything else like normal okay so I just added my little thumbnail I actually kept it in the vertical I'm not sure if that's gonna end up hurting me so I'm just gonna try it out yeah so I just filled it out like normal it looks kind of awkward with my rest of my thumbnails but this is how it looks if you guys want to watch the rest of the video, you can check it out in my channel. But yeah, that is all and that's how you upload a YouTube Shorts. Alrighty guys, so that is a short tutorial on how you can convert your old footage and remake it into a YouTube Shorts. I hope this video helped you out and so you can start creating shorts for your channel and generating more interest and traffic to your channel. But yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, uh, give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to hit the subscribe button. I make lifestyle content usually. so. I'll see you guys next week with another video. Bye.